Experience it from the beginning. The Move Press store is now open. Shop MovePress.com. You really have to jump back to like 1994 uh, when, when Pat Warner and I started at Schwinn. Got along really well, and then in 98, we added a, a couple guys to the company, uh, Andy Lowell and Eric Golish, that were in different roles engineering-wise. At the time it split up, we ultimately went to Nautilus, and we're working on a lot of fitness equipment, tons of product development. Kind of getting into that corporate culture, it became bigger and bigger, and we decided you know, we'd really like to get back to what our passion is, and we're all cyclists. We're cyclists first. Um, we happen to work a lot in the fitness industry um, over the years, and there's, there's valid reasons for that. It was an exciting job opportunity, and it was different than what we had done in the past, so it was uh, an exciting time. But yes, um, everybody is an avid cyclist. I've been racing bikes since uh, 1983. <laughs> Cycling is a passion of all of ours. It's, it's what we love to do. We've been really successful with our first endeavor, which was an indoor cycling bike. And in that product, we kind of germinated this idea of doing direct power measurement um, using the left side of the, of, of the crank. And it was a great form for doing that because you control everything about the design, the crank, the interface, the dimensions, you, you own it all. Um, and obviously in, in that category, when people are buying 20 to 60 of these for one installation, you really have to be optimized on not only durability and longevity, but price, right? In doing that, we, we basically proved to ourselves and, and to the customers that uh, we have an idea here that could, could really take off. And we spent another two years basically working on optimizing that for the, the outdoor cyclists, so that, you know, the riders basically in all disciplines. And that kind of led us to where we're at right now. We are really looking at the consumer and what are the consumer needs. You can make a big laundry list of them, you know, price, weight, accessibility, drivetrain um, compatibility. And, and so we, we have been down that list and we think we've done a really good job on our first um, product under the Stages brand of really addressing those consumer needs. If you could take the system complexity down and then bring some new technology you know, into it, um, we could start ticking these user interface benefits. And that's everything from how easy is it to install, it's a left crank arm. If you can install a left crank arm, you're good to go. Um, do I have to apply a magnet in order to get my RPM, and where do I apply it, and how do I apply it? Uh, let's just take that out of the equation. So we, we have no need for a magnet you know, whatsoever. Um, crank lengths, uh, crank models. If we can come up with a solution that basically that solution can be ported over to all these different interfaces, all these different models from Shimano and from Cannondale, from SRAM, as broadly as we can, then we give people the choices to stick with the drivetrain that they have, as, in as many cases as, as we can manage. Um, so limit the number of trade-offs, but at the end of the day, give them the same you know, metric, the same quality watt that they're going to get on whatever head unit they want. When people understand our history, that this isn't our first product and that we've been measuring power consistently and accurately for a long time. It's a new package, it's a new design, but the process of measuring power has been something we've been doing for about three years now. It's something that's been ongoing for us. So actually measuring power at this point in time is not an issue at all for us. The accuracy of the, of the power meter um, that we stayed at 100 watts, 90 RPM is 2%. If you ramp that up to like a thousand watts, it's inside of a half a percent. So you're talking about 0.02 percent. So it's extremely accurate. It's very, very tight in terms of what you're putting in and what it's returning. Um, and that's a very reliable, very stable um, measurement. One of the reasons it's so stable is that we actually do active temperature compensation while you're riding. Consistency in terms of usability and the importance of the rider is paramount. If you don't have consistency, accuracy doesn't matter. So those two are, you know, they're related, but at the end of the day, the consistency is what we drove for, absolutely had to be the best. And so the, on the weight side of it, it's, it's uh, we, we've quoted 20 grams. Essentially, that's the amount of weight that we add to whatever the base crank is that, you know, the purchaser is buying. Um, in reality, it's actually lower than that. It, it tends to run closer to 15 grams. Um, so effectively, it's, it's inconsequential in terms of the impact to, to the overall bike weight. We feel like we've opened up the market to more uh, riders, whether they haven't been willing to make the trade-off from a cost standpoint, they've, maybe they bought carbon wheels instead of buying a power meter, or they're just intimidated by the overall cost to begin with, and it, it's just out of reach. So rather than being the domain of, of maybe an affluent athlete or a, or a sponsored rider, we want to make it available to everybody who is interested in moving from where they're at today to some goal that they have in the future, whether that's winning a race, a pro tour race, or just getting healthy and fit and you know putting data up on Strava or on training peaks.